Today I wanted to give you an update on this little river cooter. So this little turtle is probably only a couple weeks old, maybe even just a few days old. So there are tons of different little reptiles and amphibians, including turtles, that are either hatching from their eggs or being born right around this time because it is the start of spring and that's when you're really gonna see them popping up. A lot of those animals are going to come from different water sources, like she was probably from a small pond not far from here. Those eggs and larvae and everything that are developing from those ponds are then gonna leave those areas to go find different places to, well, just survive and eat and all sorts of things. So the issue with that is lots of animals are gonna be having to cross over roads, which is why you're gonna find lots of different roadkill around this time, especially with reptiles and amphibians. Uh, in a two day span, I found two other killed turtles on the road just about her size. You can find this in another video with the card right there, but she is the third I found and I was sure she was dead because she had clearly been hit by a car. Uh, she was upside down and looked really dried out on the road. She was completely tucked into her shell except for her back legs and her tail. Uh, but then I took her over and she did start moving. So I hydrated her, which I actually did on a live stream, which some of you saw. And since then she's been getting better. At first her eyes looked super irritated. Uh, I was sure she wouldn't be able to open them, but she is now able to open both eyes and they look really healthy. And her shell somehow has no damage. I forgot to mention when I was actually walking up to her, there was a second car that was coming and it basically skid right on the edge of her and it just spun her around even more. So she basically took two hits from cars. However, the issue is, which you can probably guess from the previous footage, her back legs are not functioning. Obviously this is from some sort of blunt trauma from one of those cars on the road. I have no idea how long she was on the road the first time. She could have been there for uh, who knows how many hours. But it's pretty weird with her back legs because I can touch them, I can mess with them. They don't feel broken at all. There's nothing that bends in a weird direction. And it's like her nerves are just completely functionless in the back feet. She's had a few days to rest. She's gotten a lot of energy and she's really been moving around a lot, but those back legs just will not budge whatsoever. So maybe it's nerve damage, maybe something for the muscles, maybe it's something with the spine. It's really hard to tell, might be able to get her x-rayed. That's gonna be a tiny x-ray, but she really doesn't seem to be bothered by it at all. And other than that, she looks like an extremely healthy turtle. So I took a couple of Lego bricks and just some scotch tape and stuck it onto the plastron so she can't feel that at all. And it basically acts as a little turtle prosthetic wheelchair thingy. It looks slightly ridiculous. Uh, but it actually does help her move around a lot quicker, especially on carpet, because her feet will basically just get stuck in everything. And these wheels lift her up a little bit and she can move around, not necessarily faster, but clearly a lot easier because she can go a lot longer and doesn't get tired out as quickly. But I thought these wheels could just be a nice little addition when she isn't actually in her enclosure. So at first I was pretty sure I'd be able to release her, but the problem is just those back legs and the water, she's a pretty strong swimmer. Uh, I put her in Franklin, the Red Ear Sliders enclosure, and she managed to make it around that, uh, that water pretty well. She could surface up for air and everything, but the issue is she's not gonna be capable of chasing a fish to maybe go eat, and she's not gonna be able to run uh, away from most predators. In addition to that, I don't actually know if it is male or female. I'm just kinda guessing female, but I really have no idea. But if it is a female, she won't be capable of burrowing her eggs because they do that with their back legs, like someone mentioned in a comment section, I think yesterday. So we'll see, we might be able to get her legs actually checked out, but either way, I'm not sure if she'll be able to be released or not. So it's pretty unfortunate, but luckily she doesn't seem to be in any pain, and I'm sure she'll start eating really soon, which I'm gonna try today. But that's gonna be it for this update on the little juvenile river cooter that's probably just a few days old, and unfortunately she didn't get a great introduction to life, with those two cars that she came across. But that'll be it for this video. I'm Alex and thanks for watching.